July 5th, quarter to six in the morning. Everybody burned their wick. There's no one around. They're awakening. They're awakening. All right, sorry I gotta do this in the low light conditions, but that's what it is. Sorry about that. Here's my bucket and it's got brine water in it with salt water. And as I talked about in my last cigar minnow rigging video, these are my cigars and I break them up like this. I break them up like this. Now I'm doing this one handed here. See my fingers? Break them up. Do not break the skin. They're like a little sausage. Do not push anywhere in here. As soon as they, you crack the skin, they're over. And you can see, they get real wiggly. I don't know if I'll have time today to go through the whole nine yards. There's your cigar minna. This is my bucket. It's got rock salt in it that's melting. I'm breaking them all up and pre-soaking them here in a massive brine solution. until we get to the spot. All right, we got the first one on. We don't even know what it is. And it ain't a dead cigar minnow. So what's your name again? Anthony. Anthony's on the line. You can tell Anthony's a hardworking guy. He's got on jeans and a dang long sleeve t-shirt while he's out fishing in Florida. <laughs> Brand new, all right? All right, we'll, we'll, let you, we'll, let you, we'll let you slide. We'll let you slide. We'll let you slide. Got the kicker going, we're keeping them on the inside. My other bait was this big mullet. I thought that was gonna get hit first because that's big and gnarly. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, we're going right over the spot. We're going right over the spot. Look at that, folks. Look at that stack of bait structure. We're going right over the spot. Tighten up. Tighten up. Keep it high and tight, baby, high and tight. Yep. <laughs> I'd hit on a downriver at 30 feet with only a five pound weight. I've been using five pound downriver. I haven't been using the proverbial 10. I don't know why, because I don't have a 10 pound ball. Okay. All right, we just went through a whole pocket full of bait that's standing right on top of a bunch of culverts on the bottom of Lake Atlantic. Okay, here we go, here we go. He's getting closer, he's getting closer. Hopefully it's a kingfish macaralis. There's nobody out here but us. Who let them dogs out? All right, we're trying everything we can. I think he just got us rocked up. I think whatever this is got us in the bottom. Could be a giant shark, could be a giant snapper. Who the hell knows what it is? We're doing everything we can, and I think we're stuck to the bottom. Smoking son of a bitch right at the beginning there, though. Good God. Welcome to Excitementville. What the hell was that? All right, that wasn't a kingfish. It was something, and it rocked us up, so we had to break it off so we continue. All right. Till next fish. All right, we got one on. Had to change spots, go five miles south. Got somebody on. Coming in sideways. God, he just ran. Well, yeah, you got him foul hooked. So reel, reel down. Go right to the water and just lift nice and easy. Nice and easy. Lift. Lift. 
Trying to get this on camera. You're gonna have to reel. Okay, right in there. Oh, missed. Ease him over. Ease him over. Jumped right off the gas. Hold up, hold up. Reel down, reel down. Right there. Now hold, hold. See if you can hold them a little bit. Oh, God damn. There we go. Woo! Finally, Kingfish Macaralis. Now, you don't think that some bitch has no teeth? Wow, look at them teeth. Look at those teeth. Dang, then, Bill, good job, buddy. And then what do you got? You got a treble hook on the other side of his head. Now, he ain't the hugest one in the world. Okay, now, make sure you don't get all the way back. Take him off. Here we go, first one in the morning, folks. First one of the morning. That's some serious teeth, folks. You got to be aware of that every time you bring one of these guys in the boat. Got one on! I don't think it's as big as Bill's. Right over that spot again. That spot's holding some fish, man. You're in twice, I think. Even my tumble's on it, he's pulling it. Well. You never know until you get it. Yes. He's a little, I think he's a little bigger than you think he is. We're going to do a gas cam here, folks. This is the ma official masked fisherman. <laughs> What's up? Okay, nice and easy, nice and easy. Big old red. This is how I'm going snapper fishing from now on, folks. Just gonna lift him. Got him? Another red snapper, folks. Hell yeah, dude. Too bad we can't keep them. Oh, that's so cool. You can't keep them, you can't do shit with them except oh, let them man, go. Another so red cool. snapper, folks. Okay, grab my pliers back there. Dead bait trolling, dead cigar metas. This is how I'm going red snapper fishing from now on, on the open days. Golly, he's big. But we gotta snap a picture and then get them back in the water as soon as possible. Okay, you got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got another picture here. All right, we got one on the top top rod. First one of the day. Pull up. Reel down. There he is. Ah, uh, he ain't too big. Whoa! Swing and a miss! He's like the other one. Yeah, well. Oh! I said, who let them dogs out? Yes. That's a good one, Anthony. All right. Oh, yeah, buddy. I got it. That looks good. All right. There we go. Got ourselves a little snake for dinner. First one got he, away, but the second he one ain't, he, He's not a super stud, but guess what? Today, we'll take him because it was it was rough and bouncy out here. We got another. I didn't even get the second rod out. Oh, I was jumped out there. He jumped! I'm so happy he Oh, 
worry, he's taking off again. He's taking off again. Turned as tight as I can go. Do we have to back up on him? Like they do Marlin? This might be a Bonita or something that's foul hooked. Them things are like little miniature tuna. Try to keep them, even if you have to, walk them right up here. Okay, he's going up under the boat. Oh, oh. oh. there's motors. Off. What the hell is this? This is a cobia. You got one job to do. We got a cobia. <laughs> we got a cobia. This is a cobia. No wonder he's fighting so hard. Got it, Bill. You that means it, the pressure's Got all it. on you, Bill. I don't think he's going to make it. Well, he might be close. He's close. That line is up under his chin. That's the reason why he's doing all this. I gotta get his head in this neck. Haha, <laughs> nice job, man! Okay. Holy shit, Bill! Throw some slack to him. Wow! Okay, see this tail and all this? Yes, sir. This is why you don't. Look at what he just did. Okay, just snap the rig. This only goes to 32. See, there's, there's no, there's no taking care of that here. 32. 33. I would definitely say he's 33. Fuck yeah, and 34. <laughs> nice. I bet. <laughs> I was worried about you, man. 32, 33. Okay. Let's see them pretty eyes, Bill. Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. See if you can't give him a uh, just an underbelly hold like that. That was a good day. Good day. I uh, thank my crew members, Matt and friends. Uh, <laughs> just get back and it's just raining right now. I see some schmutz on the camera lens. Cleaned up those uh, kings and that cobia. And I don't know if you can see. It's dark and it's raining. But thank God we stayed to the last second because that cobia bit right on the surface and took a while to get to the boat. Even though he wasn't a big one, these guys were freshwater fishermen and they really enjoyed getting out in the ocean today. That's for sure. So I appreciated them coming and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'm going fishing. Yeah, I'm the blues, I'm going fishing.